yeah, here we go. I said I was going to do something over here. Oh, why are both my batteries are like dead though? Oh, this sucks. My battery is going to die. No! But anyways, we're out here. This is uh, the woodlands up in here. And finally, oh, by the way, voted number one place in America to live. Number one city in America to live. And I'm finally doing a big event because I actually live here. Well, not like right here, but I live in this area. These generators are really loud. It's going to be annoying. But finally, I'm doing a big event here. It's Black Friday, guys, the day after Thanksgiving. We're finally doing a big event in the woodlands. So I'm really excited to do an event in my own area. Holy shiz. Wow. Let me see this. Okay. Big shower, big tub. We like that. Oh, let me take my mask off though. Oh yeah, big mirror. So I'm probably freaking fat now. Oh yeah, goodbye abs. Look at that. What the ew, no. Oh my goodness. Unfortunately, there's only one bed. That's really awkward. Oh boy. First stop, Monta Ramen. I was here last time and they had like the best Tongotsu Ramen that I had in America at the time. We'll see if it's still the same way after two years, but they definitely jacked up the prices. Oh, let's get a little middle pool actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so apparently we're in Las Vegas Chinatown. And that place, Monta Ramen, when I was back uh, in America two years ago, and I was like, damn, there's no good ramen here, and I had just gotten pissed off by eating some fake ass Hakata style Tonkotsu ramen in Dallas. I uh, came to Vegas, and then uh, I went there, you know, and that place was really good. I was like, oh my god, it's like the real taste of Japan. I'm in Japan again, oh my god. So, Naturally, coming back to having an opportunity to come to Vegas again, uh, I was like, we gotta go there. Well, the price has definitely been jacked up as last time. I, I even wrote, like, it was so good that I was compelled to write a Yelp review. And in the Yelp review, I looked at it, and it was $6.50 back then. Now it's $8.75. And then the thing is, I just ate it right, and it just didn't hit that spot like it did before. Like, I, like, I think now... I'm not exactly sure how they're doing it, but the flavor is definitely not as intense. And uh, the the soup, or the broth was like very oily. It almost tastes like the added oil, which is really weird. Like it just felt like there was a lot of added oil. It wasn't like, it didn't taste like pork. So that was pretty disappointing, TBH. But I'm going straight. I just ate that one bowl and I said, F it, you know what I'm saying? I'm going straight to another place. I'm gonna try another place out. No, I'm not. I'm not fat. This is kind of bad because my connection here sucks. So my GPS is kind of glitching and I'm terribly uh, directionally challenged. Like I was literally just in this plaza right here to the left and I was walking like this way towards facing me. And actually I just like, it, it's right there. <laughs> it's right there. Whoops. People said this was gonna be hard to find, like it's inside the supermarket and it's just a tiny corner, but like, I see the sign right there. It literally says, Big Dan. Well, big in Chinese or Japanese, however you wanna read it, but it's Chinese. So, I don't know, that's pretty easy to find. Anyways, this place I saw from the boy Mike Chin. And I actually hate his videos, because I just find him annoying, to be honest. But, I found like, the ramen place that I went to in Dallas was also because he had said it was really good and I was like, let me see, let me see if this guy's BSing or not. And then I went there and that, not like that's now the number one ramen spot I've ever been to in America. So we're going to see this one and, uh, and this one, like they make food from his region. So 
he definitely should have a good idea what he's talking about. Oh, jeez. This is a uh, hand pulled noodles in lamb soup. Oh boy. Wait, look at this. You can see the, uh, if you look at the, the dough, there's like circular strands. So you can tell how they kneaded it. It's kind of sick. All right, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's getting dark already. It's only, it's only 425 and it's getting dark out here. By the way, that, what I just had, that was a lot better than that ramen. Oh, why am I wearing my mask right now? That was a lot better than that ramen that I had. That was like, I mean, it's pretty hard to make soup very flavorful when it's like clear like that normally. But a lot of places just don't, they can't do it. But that was pretty good. And then those, that handful of noodles, like, I mean, it was like the same as mine. It's pretty good. But the flavor, flavor of that soup was very nice. The bun thing, or what they call the Chinese hamburger, eh, that was all right. Like the bread, the, the, the pork, the pork wasn't that melty, honestly. Like there's a little bit of slight stringiness to it, but not so much, but still. Like I just wanted it to be melted. And then the, the bun was kind of like slightly dry. It wasn't like super fluffy. So, you know. Anyways. Let's see if I get lost again. I think I know. I think I know where I'm going. It might be really loud too because of the cars. But let me say. Alright, let me talk about it a little bit. I'm once again in Vegas for a performance tomorrow night. Today's Saturday. The performances are like event. Flash mob thing is like tomorrow, Sunday, like at midnight which is crazy. So also it's kind of weird because I slightly, I don't know if it was from training or whatever, but my left calf is slightly strained. Not sure if it was from training or like trying to move the heavy ass cooler at the pop-up event yesterday by myself. But yeah, I had a freaking pop-up for Black Friday event. It's supposed to be big, but it turned out to be a big letdown. That was yesterday. And then right away, I turned around, got packed up, and then flew out to Vegas. So that's what we're in Vegas for, but I decided like, I am going to just freaking eat everything. Like, eff it guys. Um, uh, yeah, you know, the cut's over or whatever. Still staying in pretty, it's pretty decent shape. It does, like, I really hate not being able to see my abs clearly, et cetera, et cetera, but I'm like, you know, how many more chances, if ever, am I gonna get to come back to Vegas for this? So we're just enjoying the time, enjoying the food. But I don't like how it's getting dark so soon. Come on now. Look in the distance over there. I love how you can see the mountains. Reminds me of good old Tsuyama. Although, you know, there's a lot more car activity going on here. And I'm trying to cross the street, so we might have to play a little game of Frogger. Dude, how? There's no crosswalks. Actually, there's one way down there, but... Crap, guys. Ugh. I guess I'll do it for the exercise. F it. Oh my gosh. I mean, I haven't done shiz anyways. I like... Man, the night before the pop-up two days ago, I only slept an hour and a half. It was... The organizers hyped it up. And let me just go on a little rant that applies to nobody. But, as a food vendor, you know, some of these events they charge vendor fees right and your vendor fee should be based on how many people you draw in you know what i'm saying like if you don't draw in a crap ton of people you ain't got no right charging a bunch of money you know like i've seen uh like you know markets can be as cheap as like 40 dollars, 50 dollars. i did this freaking black friday market yesterday okay in the woodlands which is like voted number one city in america to live these organizers charge 250 or 300 depending on you know what spot you wanted to be a part of their events okay that's a lot of money all right think about it. you have to sell 250 or 300 dollars worth of merchandise before you even break even and then if you're doing food you had to get a, a temporary health permit 
that's 50 more dollars, okay? But I've done the food events, if you follow my Instagram, where I've done like the $250, $300 vendor fees, okay? But there are so many freaking people I'm working non-stop, like literally, once the first wave comes, it's just non-stop. And you can make so much, but like, you will definitely break even. Yesterday, after paying my assistance, I like I literally just broke even. There was there were not that many people at all. It was not crowded. I was not working from start to finish. A lot of time there was, there was plenty of downtime yesterday, and it sucked. I was like, this is there's no way. There's no way these people charge that much money. Like, think okay. Let me just give. I'll give you a a little honest breakdown. These organizers with the amount of vendors that were at the event, the organizers brought in for themselves at least, at the very least, $25,000. Uh, $25, and I guarantee the vendors did not bring that much in. The vendors collectively lost. And it was probably a lot, because there were not that many people there. So, that was very frustrating. It's not necessarily the organizer's fault, unless they're literally just trying to get money out of the vendors by holding this event. But they didn't seem like this kind of people, because you know, sometimes you just get a vibe. They didn't seem like this kind of people, but it just wasn't good and I'm just annoyed regardless. So, anyways, whatever. I was like, alright, screw it, whatever. We lost, we took an L on that one. We just, like, I think I think I broke even at least, which is good. And I was like, it was just annoying because I didn't sleep. I only slept an hour and a half preparing all the stuff for that, so that sucked. I wouldn't mind it if I didn't spend any time, like, preparing anything. Oh, I could totally frog her right now. Might have to do a little frogger right now. I only see, I'm just gonna walk, fuck it. Not smart. Don't do that. I got a little sketchy halfway through, I was like, oh she is. But I knew that there's nobody on the other side of the road that I was on, so that's good. Anyways, yep, random long rant. Did not like that. But now we're refocused. Now we're in Vegas, baby. But I don't gamble or drink or anything, so, you know, we don't have that part going on. But I'm getting dessert now because I just ate my foods. And I will now eat dessert. Anyways, though, as for training, how training's been going, it's been going pretty decent, actually. Except it's just hard to find like to go as consistently as I want to. Is this the place? La Post? I don't think so. It's not what it's called on Google. I'm definitely not as lean as I was, you know, obviously, when I was getting towards the end there because I just I've been eating kind of slightly intuitively but also macro tracking. But it's like every weekend I kind of just have a little fun, you know what I'm saying? But, so yeah, I've lost some abs, lost some, and I'm holding water because I don't get to play. I haven't played tennis, I have not touched my racket for a month and a half now because I'm just trying to do all this pop-up stuff and getting the business off the ground. Oh, Japanese car service. But yeah, so now I'm holding a lot more water because I ain't sweating from all that tennis. So I'm just a lot like less lean and I hate that. I freaking hate it. Alright, that sign's not very promising. Here it is, I finally found it. I freaking overshot where I crossed by a lot. Once again, it was kind of across the street. Whoops. Anyways, is sweet coffee. There's a very specific item I want from there. I relearn how to use Lyft slash Uber because I uninstalled it when I left Vegas last time. Oh, here we go. There we go. Is sweet coffee and dessert. Looks better than that sign suggested. But it's also the very last. I was like, am I going the right way? Very last one. Okay. Well, now it's like pitch dark outside. So I didn't want that tiramisu, but they didn't, they didn't, they ran out of matcha crepe cakes, which is what I actually wanted, so. I just got the tiramisu. The tiramisu is actually pretty good, but then I got this matcha latte to get my matcha fix. And do you see the color on this thing? It's like white. It just tastes like sugar <laughs> and milk. So we're just gonna like, we're just gonna put that right here. Yep. 
Yep, right there, right where it belongs. There we go, fantastic. Alright, on to the next one. We're back in the hotel room. And it looks like my roomie has checked in. I don't know, I don't even know who it is. It's just a, it's just a fellow performer whose name is also Thomas. So you guys enjoying this ghetto cam video? <laughs> I am so tired right now. I think it's just because like, I'm slightly food combing slash I just haven't slept like the day before the pop-up. I slept in one and a half hours. Last night I got three hours. So I'm just like not... I've slept four hours for the past two days, like sleep, sleep, you know, and I had a nap, I had a nap earlier today, obviously, but I'm really tired now, but it's 7, 32, and we're like gathering, or the performers wanted to gather there at 7.45, which is in like 13 minutes, and I want to take a nap, I'm like really tired, oh my gosh, I do not want to, and also, there was a freaking Chinese guy, causing a ruckus at the concierge like oh my gosh like why do you need to be so like rude and just like pissy it's crazy like he was just like the concierge lady was like on the phone trying to get the host to talk to him and he was like just standing there like what the hell oh my god i was like dude like just chill man she's trying to help you out oh my gosh it's not her fault here we go into the caravan they said it's a 20 minute, 5 minute walk, but I hope they're trolling because I thought it was like right across the street. Oh boy. Wow. Oh snap, son. Oh snap. Oh my gosh, LED stings. When the event's happening. So, the first part is Proud Mary. Follow out the roller skaters. Mmm, okay. Rehe uh, uh, uh. Rehearsals are finished. I am very tired. According to my Fitbit, it says I burned like almost 3,000 calories already. And I have not eaten 3,000 calories. Also, I'm pretty low on protein. So my idea is to just go to an all-you-can-eat sushi place right now by myself. I wish somebody was here. This is like not, this would be way more fun just going to all these different restaurants and stuff with somebody, but you know, whatever. Anyways, I'm about to, so I think I'm gonna go to an all you can eat sushi place. I see one that's open until like 2 a.m., which is perfect. Oh, my hair is tangled. Because then, you know, you get to eat a lot, and then sushi is gonna be protein if you get to the, the fish part. I'm really tired though. My gosh, my gosh, I need to sleep. Oh, but I don't wanna sleep in the same bed as somebody. All right, here we are. We are at freaking It's Sushi, and dude, it's all you can eat. And uh, I'm definitely gonna do this shit. I'm always interested in like challenge spicy. I want to like see how spicy it is. Well, there's this one. It's a challenge, and there's this level three. This one has more spicy signals than this one. So I don't know, man. I don't like fried rolls with like the, the shrimp tempura really, but just to try it. All right, we're gonna see how many, how much we can put down here in time. Right, day two. So, as you heard, maybe. Sleep was not the best because I'm a very light sleeper, so that kind of effed me a little bit. <laughs> oh, God. But he was actually really nice because uh, he just, like, moved to the, the couch before, like, bedtime, I guess, and he just passed out there. So he, like, left the bed for me, which is cool. That's good. But, uh, yeah, I'm a very light sleeper, so that is unfortunate. I don't know how long it went on for either. I was like, oh my god. FML got my earphones, put them in, tried to help myself that way. Anyways, I'm not feeling... Well, let's take a look outside, you know what I'm saying? I'm not feeling very hungry because of yesterday's festivities, you know, and I feel bloated. But I am in the mood for some sweets. So, probably just gonna F around and... Oh my gosh. 
Alright. Like I was saying before, my battery died. My gosh, look at this. Holy. Probably gonna F around and uh, just eat a bunch of sweets and stuff like that. Taste, sample the sweets from around the area until it's like time to eat some real dinner before the uh, the show at midnight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, lobster pieces? Shrimp pieces? And, oh yeah, crabs like all the fluffy white stuff, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah. It's nighttime now. What did I do today? I had the freaking, I don't know, I think I videoed that lobster roll, so that was at like 1 p.m. I had that with a couple of fellow performers. I went back to the room and I literally just slept. I slept until freaking, what is it right now? It's 6.08, I gotta be back at 8.45 to get ready for the actual show tonight. Um, but yeah, I slept until 5. Because one, I was just really tired, like, Doing the turnaround from the pop-up to this is like very tiring, obviously, and then also I had a little stomach ache, I had a little indigestion or something that was going on. I took two tums, stomach still felt weird, weird, so I just I don't know, maybe it was too much sushi yesterday. Maybe it was their weird ass rolls. That place, the rolls suck cackerdoodle. But yeah, so I slept almost all day. I took a little bath. The bath at the freaking hotel is super nice. It was like a waterfall waterfall uh, spigot or spout or whatever. Crazy. Anyways, you know, a little detox. And then I wasn't hungry. I was like still feeling a little bloated from yesterday or whatever. And I was like, wasn't hungry. Ooh, tiger sugar. I wasn't hungry. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to go straight to like a sweets place that I really want to try because it's a high level, very cool looking sweets place, Japanese sweets. But then as I got there in the lift ride, Lyft, the Lyft driver is very knowledgeable about the Chinatown here as well, so that was cool. But as I got there from uh, the Lyft ride, I got there and then I was like, uh, now I have an appetite, now I want to eat like real food and then I want to eat dessert. So I'm actually just walking from where he dropped me off to this ramen place. But the special thing about this ramen place, it's, it's like chicken based ramen. So I'm going to go try that. Screw it. That sounds good, like it'd be good for my stomach, you know, chicken soup, whatever. Gonna go get that and then I will get dessert. So, besides, it's good to walk around a little bit since I've literally been just freaking bumming it out in the hotel the whole freaking day. Uh, I need to like wake up early so I can check some shiz out or something before I have to go tomorrow. It's already about like time to leave. It's so crazy. All right, I don't know how long it took. Didn't seem like it took too long. And I gotta walk back right after, but here it is ramen hashi. This looks pretty good for chicken ramen. Damn, okay. Let's take a taste. Alright, so that was actually the best chicken ramen that I have ever had in my freaking life. Like, I'm all about, uh, you know, keeping things authentic, whatever. Chicken ramen, not very typical. But, they did it really well. Like, if you're gonna do something like that, you just gotta do it well. Like, that thing was freaking good. Like, it was very rich, yet light. That's the thing, like, I never finish ramen broth because it's heavy as hell, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of fat in it and it just kind of feels really heavy. So I don't finish ramen broth, even when it tastes good. But like, especially tonkotsu broth, like, that stuff's really good, but it's just so rich and so heavy, I just like, ah, I can't do it. But that one, I drank it all, I drank it all, cause that shit was so good. But yeah, very well executed chicken ramen. The noodles were like, the noodles were like uh, very slippery, very smooth, but they were thin. They were thin like normal Hakata style ramen, but they were just, they felt very smooth. They, and they make them house made right there. So yeah, it, and it, that's not typical, but it worked really well with the ramen, like I'm saying. like. I don't know if that was, I don't know if I would say that's like, I don't know, like, it's definitely not Tonkutsu style ramen or anything like that, but it was chicken ramen and it was done damn well. So I would definitely try that place. And it wasn't expensive, it was only 10 bucks for that whole bowl. And you know places that offer Japanese food up in here in America, be ripping people off, charging like 13, 15 dollars when their stuff's garbage. Uh, Jinya, Jinya, Jinya ramen, ah! 
Anyways, I'm walking back now to that dessert place that I was at earlier because now I want dessert. I used to, but not anymore at all. Like, yeah. really, not at all. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> all right, here we are backstage before the big event. We have like two hours here, though. And there's no light, so it's kind of like hard to see anything that's going on. Okay, part one is complete. We just finished that. Really awkward. Very awkward because there were like people hella close. It was making me feel like I was gonna hit them. You know, scary. But yeah, not too bad. We just had one drop. Uh, so yeah, very quick, very quick little sequence. Now we're back here for another hour before we go back out. Time to relax. Oh yeah. 24 hours a day. Shoku ramen. Here we go. Why are you guys just standing there? Oh my gosh, Shoku ramen. <laughs> Once again, bar, bar, we meet Noah for many, many years. Oh, this guy needs a nap. That was me today. <laughs> You're sure? This guy needs a nap. That was me. We got some Super Saiyan nachos. Well guys, I applaud you for those who have made it this far, that you have gone through this whole video that is seemingly pointless, but I did want to document or record my time in Vegas because it may or may not, you know, I don't know if I'm going to have more opportunities to do performances like this, you know, because I'm not really pursuing that anymore, but uh, in the comment section below, let me know what you thought about the video, just whether you enjoyed it or whatever, you know, I'm kind of curious to see if, like, who actually watches these kinds of videos from your boy. But anyways guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.